and hello everyone welcome back to another roblox tutorial so in this tutorial we'll be expanding on what we learned so in the previous tutorial we talked about shapes importing assets anchoring shapes changing their color changing their shape rotation all of these things in this tutorial we'll be talking about building unique 3d objects in roblox so let's try and create an arch let's maybe delete a few of these assets we have by just clicking on them and pressing the delete button on our keyboard we can then go to model we can select part and let's select block all right so now we have a block i'm just going to position myself to the front here and just move myself up and now this block we want to change its shape a little bit. So let's scale it up, make it a little bit higher, make it a little bit longer. And now we import a cylinder. So part cylinder. And now let's just move that a little bit. So here we have it. We can also just maybe rotate it. So just click on rotate, not transform, but rotate and turn it. So it should, so it looks our way. Then we can scale it up, make it nice and big. And this is about a good size. We might want to make it a little bit bigger, but we will see. Move it so it sticks through. If we look here from the top view here, so it sticks through this here. So let's just actually scale it a little bit more and just make it go through like that. Now, if you can't get it to do this, make sure that collisions here is turned off. If that, if that is turned on and I try and move this here, you'll notice it doesn't quite want to, or in my case, it does want to stick in here. But if you have issues where it doesn't want to stick inside of this, it doesn't want to go through it like now. Now it doesn't want to go through it anymore. It's just trying to avoid it as much as possible. Then just turn off collisions. And then when you move it again, it will start going through this here. So with collisions enabled, it will not do that. So as you can see, it just snaps through it. But if you have collisions disabled, it allows you to move it through. Now let's look back to the front here and we want to move it upwards and maybe make it a little bit smaller. So we just make it a little bit smaller and then we want to move it a bit more to the side. It doesn't want to destroy the object. So you'll notice there should be a little bit of space here at the side. Let's actually change the coloring. So this here, let's go to here and just say color and we change the color to this blue so we can see the difference between the two so you'll notice if i look here there's some space there and there's some space available there make sure that is like that if you look here from the top view you'll notice my cylinder goes through this blue object look back from the front we want to add another block so another block and this block is right there. We can maybe scale it up a bit because it is very small. Scale it up. And then we can maybe move it so it is closer to the front. Oh, that is actually much bigger than I expected. Okay, let me just scale it down a bit. I did not expect it to be this big. So let me just do this. Make sure it doesn't destroy everything as soon as we try and bring it in. Now when we move it closer, it shouldn't be as big. Yeah, but much better. Now we still want it to be smaller. So let's scale it down. We want it to be about half the size or half the height of this circle here, the cylinder. And we want to make it about the same width of this cylinder. So let's actually move it into the cylinder. So you can see if it is the same width. And it should maybe go like this, so you can see that we're moving it in. And move it into the cylinder, like that. And also make sure that it is touching the ground. 
like that. Okay. So it should be half the height of the cylinder. So if we go back here, you'll notice it's half the height of this cylinder, this blue selected part, and it is touching the ground. Now what we want to do is we want to scale it and make it, it doesn't need to be as long as this cylinder, but it needs to be somewhat the same length. It needs to go through this blue block here. All right, now that we have this, we need to select both the cylinder and this block. So let's go here and we select the cylinder. So we select the cylinder and then we hold control and we select the block as well. So notice both of these are selected. If we don't hold control, it's only going to select one of them. So we select the cylinder, we select the block, it's only going to select one of them. Hold control and select the cylinder as well. And you'll notice both of these parts has been selected. If this is the case, then you want to go to the model tab and you want to go to negate. If you select that, it will show you a preview of what is going to happen. So it's showing us that this red part is going to basically be removed. So it's going to be cut out. It's going to be deleted. All right. So we select them, both of them. We say negate. And then we select the blue block as well. And then we say union. And you'll notice now we have an arch. It's like a door. Let's actually go in the game and see how this looks. So we spawn on our base plate. And there we go. We have like a door. We made our own cylinder. Cylinder. It's not perfect because we didn't quite get the sizes right, as you can see here. But it is still pretty good. We made our first arch. Now, let's talk about what negate and union does. Negate removes. So it says, okay, we're going to try and negate some parts. So it's, as they say here, negate parts for making holes. And then we have union which will fuse parts together to make a single part. So if you negate two parts and then you fuse it into another part, you're saying remove these parts from this part. This might be difficult to understand, but in the future, as the more you use it, the more you'll start to understand how these works. I recommend as your homework to play around with this. Mix and match shapes, negate and union them. So you select two objects or one object, you make it negate, then you select two objects or you select another object and you say union and that will make holes. So let's, as another example, let's make a hole here at the top. By doing, to do that, we can just say part, give us another cylinder and let's just move this cylinder because I can't see where it is. Here it is. Bring it closer. Okay. We can move the cylinder up. We can rotate the cylinder so it points to us. Take a look at it from here. Then we can move the cylinder to about here. Move it into this block. Move it so it goes right through this block. Well, it is coming out at the back. And let's do it again, but this time with just this one part. So we have that part selected. We say negate, meaning we want to make holes. We want to remove a part. Then we say, okay, this part we're negating and we hold control and select another part, the part we want to union. So now we select this blue part as well as this red part. So remember, both of them are selected. You hold control and select the next one. All right. Now that both of them are selected, you say you want to merge these two together. So you want to merge this empty space. This red part is just empty space now. You want to merge this empty space into this full space, this blue part. So we say union, and now there's a hole there. As I said, this might be a little bit difficult to understand. But the more you play around with it, the more you will understand how this works and all comes together. And that is that for this tutorial. Please like the video if you liked it and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all again in the next tutorial.